So hi guys, welcome to iQuanta. In the previous video, we have done some uh, multiplication techniques beside numbers 100. Especially today we will learn something other than that. We will learn the numbers which ends with 5 and those kind of numbers multiplication and we will learn something more as well. So let's start. So let's start with this 45 square. So 45 square and 65 square, it is basically 45 product 45, 45 into 45. Now think about these numbers have the last digit is 5. So I have already told you we are learning the numbers where it ends with 5. So in this case the answer is 25 is always in the last two digits. So the last two digits has to be 25 when you are multiplying the same numbers like the 45 square or 65 square. And the previous two number is 4 into the next number. This is 4 into the next number of 4. What is it? 5. The 4 into 5 is 20. So your answer is 20, 25. Or you can do that 4 into 4 is how much? 16 plus again the same number 4 that is also 20 so you can do anyways right the next is about 65 square so in this case we have learned 65 into 65 yes so as we have already discussed the last two digits have to be how much 25 yes all of you this is 25 and the first digit has to be 6 into the next number so 6 into the next number is 7 so it is basically same as 42 so hence your answer is 4225 so that is how you can do this kind of multiplication where the last digit is 5 and it is basically a square format, right? Next we will discuss when the difference is 10, the unit digit is still 5. You can see first this is a similarity. The last digit is, the last digit is 5 and the difference is 10. You can see this thing. So in all these numbers the last digits are 5 and the difference in both cases is 10. So this is only applicable when the difference is 10. So think how can we solve this type of question. Now in this thing, the first thing you need to understand, if the difference is 10 and the last two digits are 5, then the answer, the last two parts, like the last two digits is always 75. So I can write 75 as the last two digits in all the cases where the difference is 10 and it ends with 5. And then the previous number will be the smaller number into this plus the smaller number. So I can write the number will be 3 into 4, the smaller number into the larger number plus the smaller number which is basically 15 3 into 4 plus 3 so it has become 1575 next thing in this case also so I have to write 75 last minute that is fixed next will be 6 into 7 plus 6 how much it is 48 so your answer is 4875 so this is how we can solve this type of questions where the last digit is 5 and the difference is 10 so let's go for the next the next is this kind of numbers when the difference is 20 you can see it the difference is what 20 so in this case you need to understand the unit digit and the last digit the last two digits basically it has to be again 25 it has to be how much 25 again so when there is no difference the difference is 0 like 45 into 45 that last two digits will be 25 when there is difference is 10 the last two digits was 75 and now again when the difference is 20, the last two digits are always 25. So it is always 25. The next thing is 4 into 6 plus the average of 4 plus 4 and 6. So what is 4 into 6? 4 into 6 plus the average of 4 and 6. So this is the method. So 24 and 5 is 29. So your answer is 2925. So you understand this? So it is basically 4 into 6 and the average of these two numbers. Remember average of these two. What is average of 4 and 6? 5. So 24 plus 5 is 29. So write 29, 25. Similarly here, the last unit has to be 25. Next is 6 into 8. 6 into 8 kitna hota hai? 48. And what is the average of 6 and 8? 6 and 8 ka average is the middle number, 7. 7 is the average of 6 and 8. So add 7. So how much it is? 55. So it is 5, 5, 2, 5. That's how you can do it. So this is like the easiest way to solve this type of question. So understanding this thing is very important. Now we can also generalize that. We will generalize these things later on, not now. But I hope you have understood like how we actually tackle this type of multiplications in general. So now let's think about this kind of numbers. Now first you need to identify the numbers. Whenever you are using speed maths, now you have to identify the patterns. Like in the previous cases, the pattern is what? The last digits are 5 always and like the difference is 0, the difference is 10, the difference is 20, it might be 30 also. But in this case you can see the tenth digit is same like here it's two it is two so i can see the tenth digit is same right but in this case four and six gives you also a zero because four plus six is ten here also see two plus eight is ten the ten digit is same and two plus eight is exactly ten so it is like the sum has to have a last me zero am i clear 
So in this kind of numbers, so what is the answer? 4 into 6 is how much? 24. Then 2 into the next number 3. 6. The answer is 624. Similarly here, what is 2 into 8? 16. And 4 into the next number then 4. What is 4? Then what is the next number to 4? That is 5. So 4 into 5 is 20. So your answer is 2016. And hence this is how we can do this kind of multiplication also. I give you one other example also. Let's think about this number. 113 into 11. Let's say 7. Now think about it. This is a 3 digit number. Let's say right. It's a 3 digit number. So also we can use it in here also. What we need to do. We need to divide it like this. Like 3, 7 the different part. So the first two part is 11. The next part is 3 and 7. What is 3 into 7? 21. Now what is 11 into the next number? That is 12. What is 11 into 12? 132. So hence your answer is 13221. That is your answer. So I have I have made you understood how this kind of multiplication works. Please practice it. That will actually help you to solve questions a lot more faster. And see you in the next video.